Okay, testing one, two, three, four, testing one, two. So far, so good, it looks like for right now. And so far, also looking like we're getting a good signal for this morning. If you are just joining us, it is Tuesday morning, about 10 minutes past the top of the hour. And thanks for joining us on our weather weather overtime video blog at this point in time. Going to be getting, again, a few more people to come into the conversation so they know what's going on here. So stay tuned for that. And as of right now, again, some pretty quiet conditions in and around the Mid-South area, but also seeing, again, the possibility of some more problems heading our way as we get into the rest of the forecast for the rest of the day today. So if you have any questions about the forecast, drop them into the comments section. Give me just a little bit here while we have our Facebook viewers uh, join us at this time for a quick video weather chat to see what's going on. Assuming that Facebook lives up to a, the problems we've been seeing here for just a little bit, we should have a crash on Facebook here almost immediately. And then we should begin to see, again, a little bit better conditions as we go along. So far, it looks pretty good on Facebook. As far as we can see, nobody's joining us yet, which is not a good sign because we probably will have Facebook crash here in just a little while. But in the meantime, if you are just joining us, welcome to the show. Again, forecast information, the naturally, okay, well... Not surprising. Again, Facebook information, we'll get to that in just a little bit. Again, detailed information regarding the weather forecast in the blue bar right here. And then also seeing, again, the red bar information, again, showing social media details, uh, keeping you updated as to what's going on in and around the Mid-South area. We don't have, again, too much going on, again, where it comes to rainfall at this point. Let's go ahead and take a look at radar at this time and show you more about what's happening. Again, we see, again, the possibility of a few scattered showers uh, out there this morning. And again, much of what we've been looking for so far is just very light stuff. We do have, again, the possibility of some stray thunderstorms out there throughout the rest of the morning. But as of right now, the thunderstorms that we have had have not been severe. So good news on that. And looking again at less in the way of chances of showers and thunderstorms throughout much of the area. If you're just joining us, hopefully on Facebook here in just a little bit, uh, we're seeing again those thunderstorms mainly passing on down to the south and to the east of the Mid-South area. We'll continue that direction uh, into the rest of the morning. Much of what we're seeing for right now is again the scattered thunderstorms from around Ashland, Mississippi, back through about uh, Mickey, Tennessee, right around Guys and south of the Stantonville area. And those are moving on down to the south and to the east, heading toward northwestern Alabama. A little bit more activity developing back to around Somerville. We are getting, again, a little bit of some scattered showers taking place uh, here. Not much in the way of problems, but we will be seeing, again, more chances of these areas of showers and thunderstorms develop into the course of the rest of the morning. Metro area is relatively clear, a shower developing back around the Memphis International Airport location and into and around portions of northern Mississippi on either side of I-55. We're showing again some showers in and around Hernando, close down down to Coldwater and just to the south of the Bihalia area. A few more showers and some thunderstorms dwindling around Lakeview, Arkansas, Friars Point in Mississippi, those also going on down to the south and to the east. More showers back Back around Fredonia, Duvall's Bluff, and Hazen in Arkansas, just outside of the News Channel 3 viewing area. None of this, I should mention, is severe, so good news on that. And north of the metro, we do have a few scattered light showers trying to get going around Brighton, but not much more than that at this time. And a few more thunderstorms back to the northwest of the Dyersburg area, or northeast of Dyersburg, heading to the southeast in northwest Tennessee. Beyond that, that's about all that we have at this time where it comes to showers and thunderstorms across much of the Mid-South. Let's get going with the latest information, and if you have not heard about this just yet, brand new weather information taking place. We now have a Category 5 hurricane in the Atlantic. Irma, just a few hours ago, a Hurricane Hunter plane discovered winds of about 175 miles per hour. Absolutely incredible to see this going on. Well-formed eye very strong, regenerating around the center and making its way back toward the north and to the uh, west, again, along the line that's going to be taking it probably right on over to around Florida into the next couple of days. Uh, Irma at this time, again, is just outside the Leeward Islands, and it's going to continue on this track throughout the course of the next couple of days as it gets a little bit closer, possibly making some impacts to around Puerto Rico, uh, Hispaniola, just around Cuba and the Bahamas. 
Bahamas. And again, this is going to be a dangerous hurricane, probably a Category 4 into and around the area of the, by, by landfall into and around Florida. Again, the latest advisory from the National Hurricane Center, absolutely incredible to see this. But again, a Category 5 hurricane. And if you take a look again right in here, maximum sustained winds of 175 miles per hour. So this is incredible uh, to see something like this. And this is one of the earliest and farthest out Category 4s that we have had in recent memory. I believe the last one was David around 1979, if I'm reading that information on Twitter correctly. But uh, also, again, very interesting that the United States in, in in all of recorded history for the United States where weather is concerned, as far as records can be accurately kept through about uh, 1851, and this information from the Capitol Weather Gang at the Washington Post, that the United States has never had two Category 4 landfalling hurricanes in a season ever. So this would be the first time that this has ever happened if it decides to head that direction. So absolutely incredible to see. Keep up to date with the latest information. Uh, we'll keep you updated on this. Where is this thing going? Again, if you have not had a chance to take a look at this, this is where we're going to be seeing uh, the storm making its way into the course of the next couple of days. Wrong graphic there. Let me give you that much right there. Again, Irma is making its way over to the north and to the west. It's going to be skirting right around Cuba. And then as it goes a little bit closer into and around the area just north of Haiti, probably as a Category 4, it continues right on over into around the Bahamas, Cuba, the Straits of Florida, into around Key West could be a possible problem. Uh, it could go anywhere within this line, anywhere within that cone of uncertainty, as it's called. Again, it could go as far north as the Grand Bahamas. It could go as far south as just north of Jamaica. That's the center part of the storm right there, making its way on through. Now, afterwards, this thing is expected to kind of hang a right-hand turn and make its way northward. So if you're planning on traveling to Florida uh, anytime soon, the Keys, Miami, uh, Orlando, or out Sarasota, if my aunt's wife and uncle are watching from Sarasota, you need to be paying attention to this. So something to think about there. Again, this is a dangerous storm. And again, if you're heading toward Florida anytime soon, uh, anywhere around Florida or the southeast coast states, the Carolinas, places like that, these tracks will shift as the atmosphere changes. That's normal. So if you'd like to know more about this, keep it tuned to News Channel 3. Will it be directly affecting the Mid-South? Doesn't look like it at this time. It does not look like the remnants like Harvey did with what's left of the storm heading up our direction. So good news on that. But once again, this is going to be something we will be watching very carefully, so keep it tuned to News Channel 3 for more on that and plenty more information throughout the rest of the day. Very warm waters in advance of this over the Gulf Stream between Cuba and Florida, so this could stand a very ch good chance of being a very strong storm on impact. All right, let's take a look and see what's going on in the Mid-South, which again this morning does not amount to much, but we do have again the possibility of some strong thunderstorms for later on today, according to the National Weather Service. There is nothing from the Storm Prediction Center that says we're going to be getting anything in the way of severe weather outside of a marginal threat in that dark green polygon right there. That's, excuse me, the best possibility of getting the thunderstorms that could change into something severe. That's the most unstable weather into and around the Mid-South area. So that's what we'll be watching there. Rest of the day today, again, much of what we're going to be seeing is going to be, again, that cold front dropping on through. And as it does, we'll be looking for temperatures rather on the nice side over the next uh, 24 hours into the next week or so. High temperatures today, mid to upper 70s to lower 80s, and chances of showers and thunderstorms greatest south of I-40. Betty Levingston, good morning to you. Uh, Ethel Harris, glad to help with the information uh, to keep you planned out and ready to go for what's going on out there. Much of what we're seeing again into tonight, low temperatures will be very much on the cooler side back into the mid to upper 50s across much of the area, and that includes the metro area. Chances of rain will be lingering into about early evening, but again, those will be passing on down to the south and to the east of us and heading away from the area, so good news on that. Going into Wednesday, high temperatures again back into the mid to upper 70s, and looking again like we're going to be seeing some fairly clear skies out there. Matter of fact, maybe partly cloudy skies in the morning uh, into the afternoon, looking very nice there. Thursday's high temperatures, again, lows at night, going to be going back to around the 
mid to upper 50s. Highs on Thursday in the mid to upper 70s. Skipping ahead to Friday, high temperatures again, close to 80 degrees, and looking good into the weekend as well. A little bit warmer for Saturday and Sunday, but we will be seeing some very mild temperatures out there, to say the least. Tom Barker, thanks for stopping on by. Appreciate you watching the show for this morning. Chances of rainfall at this time. Again, if my mouse would behave here for a second. That's what we're going to be seeing again for right now. The possibility of rain in the green bars, possibility of thunderstorms in the red bars, and it's greatest as we go through about early this afternoon. Through about lunchtime, again, the greatest possibility here, less so as we get into around the area of early this morning. So uh, Memphis, I-40 southward, that's where we're going to be seeing the best possibility of a lot of this rainfall coming on through. Cloudy skies early, hopefully enough for some decent stargazing tonight. We'll take a look at astronomical information coming up a little bit later on. More on updates on Irma, as those of you who are tuning in on my Facebook page know already, you know where to find me on there. Twitter, if you're watching on that and Periscope, again, great weather information, including updates on Irma, some great satellite pictures showing at this point in time. And if you'd like to see some more great sunrise, sunset shots, send them in, radar pictures. We've got them all uh, in that location as well. Also on Instagram at Aonic underscore W or Aonic no underscore necessary, WREG3. Seven day forecast from the News Channel 3 weather experts available at WREG.com slash weather and my complete forecast available on AM730. Yahoo Sports Radio for about the next 40 minutes or so. Uh, again, if you can't listen on the radio this morning with Bob and Josh on Talkback Live, you can tune in online at www.talkbacklivenetwork.org and listen on the computer. So far, again, pretty quiet. A few thunderstorms out there. Beyond that, not that much going on. And we'll keep an eye on Irma. If you're heading anywhere on the southeastern United States, Gulf Coast, East Coast, Florida, keep it tuned to News Channel 3 and especially pay attention to what's going on from the National Hurricane Center. Lots of fake forecasts floating around out there, some very catastrophic overstatements to say it lightly. So please keep it tuned for the real information available from the National Hurricane Center and we will keep you updated here as well on weather overtime from News Channel 3 on air and online. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. It is Tuesday morning. Thanks for joining us for the latest update of weather overtime. More information available here at WREG.com slash weather.